what will happen for the, the, the summer season? You are, you are going to reopen? So we are, we are open since the okay. 8th of June. So the government in Switzerland was amazing. We got 80% uh, the, the, the permanent staff uh, because we have seasonal staff. The seasonal staff, their contract was finished. So they left, we paid them their holiday and they left. And uh, we have three permanent staff, which the government uh, covered 80% of their salary. Plus we could apply for a loan uh, of, uh, I think it was, a certain amount that we, I think it was 20,000, uh, no, 200,000 uh, Swiss francs that we can re refund in five years without interest. And that was done like this. Whereas here we, we applied for every single loan possible and unfortunately our color is not the right one and we are battling to get, um, to get fundings. Mm. And so do, do you think in uh, the, the, the first number that you receive in terms of booking in Switzerland, do you, you expect the season will be okay? Mm -hmm. we, so we didn't re-employ, we, 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 we normally have 18 staff members in Switzerland. We are sitting with 11, 10, 11, and they work per hour. So if there's, there's guests, they come in. If there's no guests, they don't come in. We close the restaurant uh, two days a week so they can take their days off, so the staff can take their days off. And we are looking June, July, July is a little bit better. June we finished on 30% occupancy where normally in summer we run uh, 80, 90 or percent occupancy. And July is looking 37%. I hope we, we just, I mean, obviously we don't have the, normally in, in summer we have our biggest clientele is the Americans. So obviously they're not coming this year. So we are running on our Swiss clientele and uh, clientele, and I think 37% is not bad, really. Yeah, and you might have the last minute booking because in, in Europe, things are, are just yeah. reopening the last two days. So you might have last minute pickup up yes. from so, the Northern Europe. Yeah, so we're hoping the weather will be good on weekends so we can pack up on weekends and, and yeah. And everybody with his car uh, driving distance might might come. Um, yeah, but in Switzerland train. as well with the train. I mean, no. uh, the only way to get to the station is on train anyway. Mm -hmm. And it's right spang bang in the middle of Switzerland. So everything is two hours train away from. So the last question regarding the lockdown before, after we are going to talk about the reopening. What, what, what did you miss the most uh, during this lockdown, these three months? Personally, the traveling, because we, uh, I was supposed to go to Switzerland, we had the cruise, Asian cruise, we had a, a holiday planned to take my son to Cornell University where he wants to go study, we had, uh, so everything is, has been lost and gone, so probably, personally, the traveling was the biggest problem. Um, but I mean, walking every day through a closed hotel is, it's not quite the shining, but it's very depressing. Mm -hmm. Not having this life around you all the time and people coming in, talking. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, the human touch was missing, yes. the clients, the, the staff, the team. Now, so let's just talk about the, the last part of this interview on the reopening. So you just reopened a few days ago. Could you explain yes. a little bit what is your strategy and how you are going to reopen? Uh, so halfway, halfway through lockdown, we decided, we realized that we weren't going to get any uh, overseas traveler this year. So we thought uh, of reopening the spa first because this is what works the most for us. And uh, that was before knowing if the government would let us open. And then reopen the hotel only on weekends for the Kryptonians who come and travel and come often to Stellenbosch for the weekend. Yeah. And, yeah. and it happens that the government has let us open the spa first. So the spa is open since uh, Monday. And we are actually doing quite well. Uh, I would say we are 60, 60 to 70 percent uh, busy, which is not bad. And the weekend is arriving. So I'm sure we'll, we'll do better this weekend. So we open eight days a week uh, from eight to five. We've just brought in a team for 
we, we opened the lounge area, which is close to the spa, where we serve, we're not allowed to serve alcohol, so no glass of champagne after your massage, but you can have a lovely uh, virgin cocktail or a coffee. And we also have a little, I came up with a little snack menu um, where we have four items that I run to the kitchen to do if anybody wants. Okay. So it's like apple and lemons and olives in it. Obviously. So you, you, you start with uh, taking care of your local community and they were interested in your spa. And then yes. so this was just open and now the, the second stage will be so restaurants the... restaurants are allowed to open but uh, like i said they don't serve oh, alcohol well. but we don't have the, we we weren't that popular before the lockdown so we're not going to open a restaurant that was already not very doing very well so we're just serving our little dishes we're going to bring back the chefs slowly uh, and see what we have in our freezers and just um, operate on a day-to-day -day with a plat du jour type of thing every day and then um, when we reopen the hotel on weekend, so we're planning to reopen next weekend, uh, reservations are open, there's a lot of interest already, and all the interest is about the spa, that people want to come for two days and just stay in the hotel and not have to take their cars and just be pampered and dined. So we will have to then probably do some menus for them at night, um, but it's going to be complicated because they, they can drink alcohol in their room, it seems. So we probably will have to do a lot of room service, which we are not geared for at all. We, we, it's, not our, it's not something that we've been used to do. So we are going to have to, to improvise and do it well. <laughs> be creative. Yeah, but yeah. so, so the, the, the interest is still around the... Um, the spa. So you are going to do like a spa package, bring the spa and the rooms. 